This video will explain the installation of the Echo inline brake controller. The tools that are needed for this operation are listed. Welcome to the Lipper Technical Institute. I'm Charlie and I'll be your technical instructor. Today we'll be installing the Kurt inline brake controller. That's the 51200 model. Now let's take a look inside the box and see what we got. Inside the box we have a main module, a main module adhesive pad, wiring harness, six six inch zip ties, two 14 and a half inch zip ties, four self tapping screws, a user manual, and a quick reference guide. The Kurt brake controller is connected to your phone through Bluetooth, and it's the controller itself is installed on the truck behind your seven-way plug. Just make sure that it's not near your muffler and that it's installed firmly in place on the truck. So let's go ahead and get underneath the truck and install it and get after it. Locate the vehicle seven-way electrical trailer connection at the rear of the vehicle. From under the vehicle, locate the U.S. car connector and remove the external lock. Once you have the external lock removed, pull out the connector from the seven-way plug. Now you can install the T-end of the harness in between the wiring harness and the vehicle's seven-way receptacle. Now you can reinstall the external lock clip. Install the Echo inline harness connection into the main module port. Locate a suitable mounting location for the Echo inline unit. Clean all dirt and debris from the mounting surface. Using the double-sided adhesive pad, peel off one side of the backing and adhere it to the clean surface. Now you can peel off the other side of the backing. Next, mount the Echo inline to the clean mounting surface where the adhesive pad is located. Use the four self-tapping screws and firmly secure the Echo unit to the mounting surface. Using the provided zip ties, secure any excess wire harness and factory wiring to prevent snags and or unwanted wear on electrical items. Download the One Control Auto application from the Apple or Android store. Enable your Bluetooth on your device. Your device will connect to the Echo system. Open the app after installation and follow the instructions and complete the initial registration. Now, grant permission to the app and enable device location. Select Pair Device under the Echo Brake icon on the home screen. The app will begin scanning for the Echo device. Once detected, you will be prompted to enter the six-digit PIN provided on the quick reference card. Once pairing is completed, you will receive a pairing successful notification and the LED light on the Echo device will be solid blue. After pairing with the Echo, you will be able to set up your trailer's profile. You can create and save profiles for multiple vehicles, trailers, and load conditions. You can now configure profile settings by entering Active Profile by tapping the Open button shown under the image of Echo icon. In your Active Profile screen, you can adjust settings and use the Echo brake controller by being connected to a unit and making sure that the Echo device LED lights up a solid green color. Music 